Hello, it's Holly with Ivy Co Creations, and today I'm working on a layout inspired by Miranda Weber. So I just really wanted to do this scrap lift, and I love the way that she has created this layout. It's absolutely fabulous. So one of Miranda's things that she loves doing right now is making like a halo around her paper on her layouts and so I wanted to do a similar idea. I used um, my Distress Oxides in Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn to get this kind of blended out halo effect that I was going to put around the papers. Of course I only did the edges because um, I'm going to fill the middle up with paper. And I just went through and cut a bunch of strips. I did try distressing them along the edges, but then realized that I needed to layer them up on top of each other. So I don't like the way that the distressing of the paper makes it difficult to layer things on top of each other. Um, I find they don't stick and I find that my layouts become rather difficult to work with. So I did distress this last piece because it's actually a branding strip or a border sticker and I wanted it to have a bit of dimension. So the ones on top I did go through and work on and then I just layered up my photos with some white cardstock and some foam so that I could get them up off the page a bit. Miranda has two photos and of course I always do more. <laughs> so I have four photos. I had this branding strip that had this beautiful saying on it. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart and I thought that was totally apt when dealing with this very upsetting situation of a broken stick. He used to call them his monster sticks and so it was like one of his toys breaking and so yes he was extremely heartbroken about it and I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to specifically um, document how upset he got about these things but also his sister in the background of the one photo going ta-da! <laughs> It's my favorite part about this layout. And then I did all that work with the strips and I could have left it the way that it was, but I wanted to add a little bit more to like play off the actual stick. And so I started playing with ephemera. And a lot of this is 49 in market um, die cuts and pieces that have been cut out. And so yeah I basically covered up all of that work that I just did it still looks fabulous I love the way that it turned out but I did like twice as much work as I needed to when I just covered it up sometimes I'm really disappointed about that because it was looking fabulous the way that it was before so I added some branches I added my tree rings I added uh, some little maple um, seeds and used those as enamel dots. And then I went in with my Black Nouveau and I just made some black dots everywhere. I don't know why it was something that I was trying and I obviously don't do it very often. But I thought that it looked interesting and the page needed just a little bit more. Please check Miranda out her information will be linked in the description box below and thank you so much for spending your time with me today mm -hmm. 